now we will look about the general mechanism general mechanism of cell injury and intra cellular targets of injurious stimuli okay so if this topic wants to tell that that cell injury results from abnormalities melities in one or more essential cellular components okay and the main in the main in the main uh, things which are uh, which are which are target of injuries is stimuli are means if there is any stimuli and the principal targets of injuries is stimuli are the principal targets of injurious stimuli stimuli are it is saying the cell injury that occurred due to abnormalities in one or more essential cellular component essential okay then uh, when we suffer from any when the cell suffer from injurious stimuli then what that one or more essential component are first principal target are the first target of the that injurious stimuli they are the mitochondria cell membrane and the protein synthesis mechanism mechan mechan protein synthesis machinery machinery is dna okay these are the main target of the injurious stimuli to get them affect okay so first we will look about the mitochondrial damage mitochondrial damage okay they are the they are the critical players in all pathway okay they are the critical one if they are suffering in that will lead to cell death or first you can say cell injury and then death okay but the question arises why this happen because mitochondria are those which are the atp supply okay they are the life sustaining in uh, life sustaining the, the energy produced energy produced by them so of course they are very important so uh, what are the things why which the mitochondria uh, get damaged and uh, they are damaged by they are damaged by increase of cytosolic calcium plus 2 reactive oxygen species oxygen deprivation this all make them virtually very weak okay and they uh, make them sensitive to virtually all type of injurious stimuli okay uh like now uh, we will say that which type of injurious stimuli by uh, they are sensitive to sensitive by the injurious stimuli like examples are examples are hypoxia and the toxins okay so um the things uh, when there is mitochondrial damage when there is after mitochondrial damage what are the major consequence major consequence occur first is the atp depletion atp depletion so what is the atp depletion whenever there is any hypoxic injury or any chemical injury this will of course will lead to decreased atp synthesis okay then the question arises how does atp synthesis occur in the body 
so atp synthesis that the two major pathway two major pathway in mammalian cells are first one is non dividing non dividing example is the brain liver here what happen there is oxidative phosphorylation of oxidative phosphorylation of adp okay uh and second is the glycolytic pathway which can generate atp generate atp so this were two pathway this was something uh, extra so there is some hypoxic or the chemical injury okay like example cyanide injury okay some toxin injury and that lead to uh, decrease in atp that that led to the decrease in the energy dependent functions and this will lead, lead to increase in when there is decrease atp synthesis and there is uh, again one thing occur that is the increase reactive oxygen species and this lead to damage okay of lipid protein and nucleic acid and that will lead to further cell injury okay and uh, when there is mitochondrial this type of damages like atp atp damage occur then there is uh, atp atp synthesis uh, less synthesis occur then there is problem in the sodium the, due to decrease amount of atp there is problem in na plus k plus atp is pump and this will lead to accumulation of sodium intracellularly increase increment and this will lead to uh, water retention and this will lead to increased swelling of the cell and due to the swelling okay there will be uh, mitochondrial damage and this will uh, result in the formation of this will result in the formation of high conductance channel in the mitochondrial membrane mitochondrial membrane and this uh, this is called as called the mitochondrial permeability transition transition pore open pore and when there is a uh, uh, opening of this mitochondrial per permeability trans transition pore this will lead to the uh, this will lead to loss of mitochondrial membrane potential and this will lead to failure of oxidative phosphorylation and this will lead to atp depletion and this will result in the necrosis okay and uh, this is the first th thing that we will and, and as i have said that this will uh, cause the water retention and due to the water uh, due to the water retention and you know, this will lead to cell swelling and this will lead to er dilation this was the second thing now the th third is 